One day, on a picnic at Hanging Rock in Victoria, three girls went missing. I remember when I first heard the story. I was a child on my grade six camp in the Victorian countryside. We had just had dinner and had settled down around the campfire when our teachers started telling us this old ghost story. Everyone else was either talking with their friends or watching the flames. Me? I was intrigued. Picnic at Hanging Rock by Joanne Lindsay was just one of those stories. It grabs you, gets you thinking, and leaves you wondering, what really happened that day? But the place is real. It's very real. I needed to get out of my head for the day, so accompanied by some friends, I headed for the rock. We started with a walk around the base. All the while, the rock loomed to our right. It's funny. The rock had its own presence to it, and there were no animal calls, no sounds really coming from the rock. Just the chatter of the day visitors, really. Around midday, we stopped for lunch, just a quick bite to eat. But I had another goal in mind. I wanted to climb the rock. Hanging Rock isn't like Uluru in Australia's heart. People are still allowed to climb it. Part of the way is even paved now, but it doesn't make the trip any easier at times, especially in the midday sun. Mad Dog's an Englishman, am I right? I took the path to the left, the paved path to the summit. The first bit was easy, but as I made it to the halfway point, I realized I might have made a mistake here. I found I was having to pause every five steps in the shade just to catch my breath, more due to my own state of fitness and the heat than anything. It's funny, I'm not a superstitious person, but while on the rock, I had a prickling at the back of my neck, like I was being watched. It took me 40 minutes to reach the saddle. This is the point just below the summit. Slumping into the shade, I sat panting for a good odd five minutes before getting up again. For my own health, I wasn't going to be able to summit today. Looking around, I couldn't help but stare at the rocks that towered over me, and it seemed like they stared back. Heading back down, this time via the stairs, I couldn't help but go down smiling. I had done something that I didn't even know if I could do. I've been through several rough patches in my life, and I needed this time to think, just to contemplate, and I believe I found it while I was on the rock. The sensation of eyes followed me all the way back down to the visitor center. That day, the rock left an impact on me, and I knew I would be back. <laughs>